Hey guys, welcome back. Stop talking. Roll episode 195, your number one show for Jiu-Jitsu analysis on YouTube. Today we have Colin in the black and camo black shorts, and it looks like Cole is also in the black and camo black shorts. They're they end up all over the place. So I know they're like back here right now, but I think they end up in front and whatnot. Um, and pulling it, I appreciate that. Sit and guard. And hopefully they keep moving. Yeah, see, I think I think it works out just fine. Um, I Cole, I love what you're doing. Sorry, Colin, I love what you're doing. Um, scooting in and sticking your feet right in in between his legs to try to trip him up. It's great. What I like to do is I I oh I didn't open my little zoomer. Hold on a second. All right, sorry, I have my little program that lets me draw. Um, what I like to do is I like to get this foot and place it right behind the ankle. Okay, sorry, that's a little much. Like, just right behind the ankle on both sides. Um, and and literally, like, either just push them over it or pull my knees into my chest or both at the same time. Also, out works, too. So, like, all, all different sorts of directions. Basically, you just trip them up. It's a great way to do it. Um, side note, guys, if you're new to the channel, please feel free to uh, shoot me a video if you want to be on the channel. Somebody... Let me know. Shoot me around if you want to be on the show. So let really know people don't watch at the end. But you guys don't start. You don't watch if I don't immediately start the round. So I'm I'm taking advantage right now. Let's see how many people leave. Hopefully not too many because this is a great round. Um, call and put into a, a shin to shin situation, which is good. Looks like somebody smacked somebody. All good. Um, I like to grab behind the knee for shin to shin. Yeah, cool. That's good. Grab the feet. Lift them up. Yeah, so we, now these guys are like front and center. This is good. And use it to pass. Um, almost, Cole. So consider transferring. So you get here. Oh, this is actually good too. Boom. And he brings his knee in. So consider t making him face away from you. That's huge when you're trying to pass somebody's guard or, or defending their guard retention, right? They need to turn into you, right? So uh, nobody else is doing it right now, but... If his knees are facing you, like if they're pointing in your direction, it's going to be a lot easier for him to defend and, and, and get his guard back. Um, if you force his knees away from you, it makes it more difficult. Okay. And it, and it also encourages the turtle, which is always great for um, taking the back. Thank you, Juliet, for going under the camera there. I saw that. Much appreciated. So Colin with a... Arm bar, but I think you're on the wrong arm. Classic. Yeah, that was a good defense. Uh, that had the wrong arm in, but oh, ooh, ooh. sitting over for an ankle lock. Oh, you got it. Nice job, Cole. Let's see that again. So you big step over. I would throw. Actually, you know what? I don't. Know. I mean, you could you could look to throw this like all the way through. But that that's good. Pinch your knees. Oh yeah, you straight Ashi. You know what? Honestly, that's cool. I like it. Um, consider moving your hand. I'm just gonna back it up just a little bit more. Oh, you know what? No, you're all right. Um, to increase it, belly down. Right. So get your chest to the floor. Um, that'll increase the intensity of the submission significantly and then bring your other hand into play too um you could definitely finish with just one hand but the second hand helps a simple guillotine grip helps right scoop grip turning up into it right you're trying to make you're trying to make this space as small as possible right like their foot's in here i'm making it really big right now so you can see it, and i'm trying to close the space up right so we're here let me see where's the camera so you can see some space i'm looking to close that up Right, and, and get everything tight and then move back. Never increasing the difference, di the distance between my, my chin and my hands. So everything stays tight as you look for the break. All right, so we have some stand up. I remember the stand up got a little crazy here. Colin, I appreciate you sitting down, keeping this going. Cole's a big dude. Always blows my mind that I'm heavier than Cole, though. Cause Cole's a big dude. Hi guys. Bye guys. All right. I like the front headlock. Yep. Yep. Wrap it up over your arm. 
if you're going to do it like that. Let's see. Cole, I like I like what you're doing, Cole. You're going for stuff. Colin's got great, de great defense too. So, so yeah. I mean, honestly, you can you can wrap up like a front headlock here. I like the face. Um, sprawl down on his head, on the back of his head. So now his head's basically stuck. It's a wedge between the back between your chest and then your arm. It's very difficult. You could use this hand to get an underhook on on this arm. And use that to spin him over and take him down to a side control, side control position. That was a terrible arrow, sorry. So you underhook right here, and you could drive him over. Um, kind of, you're kind of doing it right here, but but imagine instead of the arm right here, I know it's kind of hard with the black grass cards, you just get right under here and use that to drive over. You're going to have a lot of success that way. Um, and look, now you have his head nice. I don't know if that was a tap or not. It looks like not because you guys went right back into it. But <clears throat> excuse me, I need to uh, I need to bind a mute button. I realize that that is a, an important thing to have when you're on a microphone is to have a, a mute button real quick. Maybe I have one. I don't want to mess with it and delete my video, but I'll try it maybe at the beginning of the next video. Um, another guillotine attempt. I like that. Uh, Colin, good job getting your head and your feet on opposite sides of the body so this is a problem cole i would let go right here because what now you did wrap up his arm so i you could look to actually actually you're not in the worst position you could look to sit up and, and reclaim control or you can look to bump and roll because he has no way of stopping if you bump and roll back that way right he doesn't really have a good way of stopping is is i mean this arm is weak because of the condition that you have his body in and you have this arm trapped as well so he can't really post on the side and the head so all he has is one weak arm to post with or if he does something crazy with this leg you could probably capitalize on it as well so you actually could bump and roll this way typically i would say you need to let go anytime you have a guillotine grip in and they get to side control um i would not i i would be very wary about holding on to this Cole because what he could do again if you don't have this arm he can come up front and do a cross face and I've talked about it on the show before but the uh, Von Flu choke um, basically it, it's available when you are in the bottom of side control and you com commit to a guillotine what they could do is come over and trap your hand cross face you and hit you with the Von Flu choke um, so I generally advise if they're if they're able to get the side control and they get their head and legs on opposite sides of your body, you, it's time to let go of the the gay team. But again, that's all different because you do have this arm. So let's see how this plays out. Yeah, yeah, very nice using that. You're really you're really buckling down that guillotine. Um, I would make sure you get something over the head. Remember, you want to get your bottom hook in first. But good job getting both hooks in. Let's see what Colin does. He's got great. Colin's got great back escapes. Yeah. I'd be careful crossing your feet. Yeah, that's good. Come up to mount. That's okay. Not ideal. You can obviously had the back, but that's fine. Sewer mount. What happened? Oh yeah, something happened earlier. Was did that happen? I didn't even notice it. Oh yeah, when they were stand up. What happened here? What did I see? Oh yeah, that. Yeah, that was a little sketchy. I forgot about that. That was so from this angle it doesn't look that bad, but one of the things you need to be really careful of is I didn't realize he was in a guillotine. This doesn't look as bad, Colin, now that I'm looking at this um, from this angle, but from the other angle. So I was sitting on this side of the room over here, okay? So I was looking at it from, instead of like, obviously from this angle, I was on the side. And what I saw is right here, um, it looked like Colin was jumping guard onto Cole's knee and it's sideways. So you have to be very careful about that because um, 
you can collapse into his knee, which is one of the reasons why pulling guard isn't uh, legal in white belt. Obviously, I didn't see that he was in a guillotine, um, but Cole did a good job of falling with him. That was like a heads up play. But just be careful about that, guys. Like when you basically when you turn a corner and your hips are on lined up with their legs. Again, this looked Cole turned at the same time, and this looks a lot worse from the side. This doesn't look that bad from this angle, so I I, I take back what I said um, in the class. Um, but you, but you, the the point still stands. You need to be very careful with how you're falling when you're sideways on your partner's knees. You never want to collapse into their knee and like make their knee like if this is a leg. Right, you don't want to make their knee buckle in this way or buckle in sideways because um, you tear somebody's. Uh, what would that be? Uh, LCL, I think it would be. Right, lamel, LCL, ACL, MCL, MCL, ACL, LCL. Yeah, it'd be the outsides of the LCL, um, which would not be good. Um, and I think I show an example of this actually with Ricky. I come in and let's see where it is. They roll for a little bit. So, right. So I I talk about jumping guard, right looking straight on jumping straight on with it and not sideways if you're going to jump guard and you make sure you come up high especially in the training room right i've had i've had competitors i've had somebody <laughs> who went on to become a world champion at the black belt adult level uh pull guard at my knees right so like it happens um i was fine obviously i sprawled out on it hard and we continued the match just fine um but he it was uh it was jarring to say the least because I think about I think back on that many times. I'm like that guy probably was very close to snapping both of my legs because he pulled guard. He's not an idiot, so just like a jerk, like he's a world champion, so he's obviously not an idiot. Um, but just pulled guard like a jerk. <laughs> so uh, don't do that. Um, did the round continue? I think that was the end of the round. All right, cool. Um, thank you guys. Great round. Uh, you guys are looking great. Um, these guys have both only been training, I think like three months or left less like between them. Um, so you guys are looking really good, really impressive. All right. Thank you guys. And please, I don't know how many people stick around. Somebody pointed out that people don't stick around. I'm not surprised. I get it. You click off the video when I like, like, and subscribe, ring that notification bell. I get these episodes out every morning, 8 a.m. Eastern, Monday through Saturday. But please, if you want to be on the show, let me know, reach out to me. I'll get you on here. Um, but you're probably not watching right now. Let me know if you're watching right now. I've asked this a few times. I feel like I feel like one day, I know the channel is eventually going to take off, and someone's going to come back here and watch this, and they're going to be like, "Nick, I got you," and I'm going to appreciate that. But uh, maybe maybe you got me now. Let's see. I don't know. That was my dog that just <laughs> did that. Okay. Have a nice day. Bye.